know from long-term experience in Iowa and, and many other centers now that the Ponsetti method of clubfoot treatment is extremely effective in correcting feet and, and avoiding the need for extensive surgery. And again, this has been shown time and again in idiopathic club feet. Since more people are getting familiar with the method, it seems logical to try to extend the limits and see if you can use this same method in harder feet. And those harder feet include arthrogryposis, other neuromuscular problems, genetic syndromes. And, and children that have these other syndromes with club feet, the feet are harder to treat, they're stiffer. So the first cast that we use, we supinate the foot. And the point of that first cast is to correct the cavus or the high arch, which is mainly in the first ray. And so we do a few seconds to a minute of manipulation each week. And the first cast will be applied today again with the foot in the extreme supinated position with our index finger underneath the first ray to help correct the cavus deformity. And during this process, we get a couple of careful molds, and one is over the head of the talus, which is illustrated with my index finger. And we also mold very carefully around the back of the heel. And it's important to keep the fingers moving during the molding process so you don't get sores from pressure indentations at any one spot. But the key with this is the feet are now, again, in the supinated positions that are kind of pointed out to the side, straight up. This is the typical error that people try to do their tenotomy right where they see the crease, and that's actually, it's too distal, and it's right on the calcaneus rather than on the heel cord. So it's important to see the crease and then go a centimeter proximal to that, and that's where the tenotomy is going to be done. So I will palpate the tendon where I need it, a centimeter proximal to the heel cord insertion. And my blade is going to enter from medial to lateral. and then cut from front to back. And that's the pop, you can see that move. That was the tendon being released. Again, I like to put pressure and then range the ankle and look at the amount of dorsiflexion you can appreciate now in this ankle. And so now we would go to applying the cast. So we're gonna put our dressing on and cast application. The most challenging part of this method is really not the casting and tenotomy. People learn that and do it, and it's relatively short in duration. The hardest part is the bracing. And bracing is something that goes on right now, we recommend, until they turn four years of age. So nighttime bracing. So we rely a lot on the parents. They have to buy into this. They have to be willing and wanting to do this and put this on their child every single night.